Well, hey guys, Steven here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an antler jewelry holder. And what I'm hoping to do with this is put this on my bedside table and be able to, you know, hang and store my uh, rings, wristwatch, paracord bracelet, and my keys and a few other items. So basically, all you're going to need for this project is a hand drill, a wood screw, and a little bit of epoxy. So step number one is basically to pick out your deer antler and also your wooden base. I started out by choosing a piece of deer antler and the choice was really easy. I decided to use an antler spirit carving that I made many months back. I used my Dremel to make the carving and I'll probably show this in a future video. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd be interested in watching. Now this particular deer antler that I got given to me from a friend, harvested from a deer. Uh, however, you know, there's other ways that you can get a deer antler. You know, one of the most common ways is to go online and find an antler supplier. You can also go to flea markets. You can also go to yard sales. Uh, I enjoy getting out in nature. I enjoy hunting. I enjoy hiking. So I like to go out and do my own shed hunting. It's a little bit more time consuming to find antler that way, but it's a very enjoyable way to do it. Since the antler I'm using was originally cut off with a hacksaw, I took it over to my large uh, belt sander to flatten the base. Then I dry fitted it to the piece of basswood that I got from Hobby Lobby. What I wanted to do is basically the base of the antler fit flush with the wood. So I just keep making some adjustments till you know, I get the right angle that I want the antler to sit at, you know, on the wood base. Okay, this is the, uh, the wood base I'm going to be using. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's probably about an inch, uh, maybe an inch and a half thick, but what I really like is the character of the wood bark that they leave on here. Not so much the uh, grain pattern in here. I'm going to probably add a little bit of stain to darken that up. But this is already, you know, kiln dried and you know they leave the bark on it and i just really thought that would look good with the deer antler so step number two and i'm going to go ahead and position the deer antler where i want it on the basswood base i decided to face the antler back at a 45 degree angle since i want to be able to see the antler spirit carving that i have on there uh, i also wanted some room to the right of the antler to place my wallet, my iPhone, my reading glasses. But really just look at what you're putting together, position your antler the way you want it. Now step number three, I'm gonna position the antler on the board and then go ahead and drill a hole into the wood base. I'm using a uh, small drill bit and a three inch long screw to use for attaching the wood base to the antler. Uh, you need to drill the hole in such a way as to maximize your connection with the deer antler. This could mean that you will need to drill the hole at a slight angle. Step number four, go ahead and drill through the wood base and into the base of the antler. Okay, to do this, I'm gonna hold the antler on top of the wood base and drill through the bottom of the wood into the antler. The hole that I already created in the basswood will help guide the drill bit. Uh, doing it this way will help create a neatly aligned hole in the antler and it will be at the correct angle. Step number five, attach the antler to the wood base. Now all I'll do is screw in the wood screw and connect the antler to the basswood. If you like, you can also apply some epoxy to the antler when you do this step. I decided to also apply a small amount of dark Danish oil just to give the wood a darker hue. And if you want, you can also wipe some flaxseed oil uh, or linseed oil onto the deer antler to condition it a little bit better. If you like this video, please watch my other antler tutorial videos and you'll see pop up on the left side of the screen.